uninhibited our stars this week. Vicki Lawrence and from Love Boat, Ted Lang. Watch their bodies do the talking on Body Language. And here's the star of Body Language, Tom Kennedy. Hello there. Good day, everyone. Welcome once again to Body Language. We're having great fun on this, our final week on Body Language on the CBS Television Network. So let me be about the 100th one to wish you all a very happy new year. And let's say happy new year to Vicki Lawrence. On this, the second day. We're already into the second day of 1986. I know, time flies yeah. when you're having fun. How did you spend New Year's Eve? We took the kids up to the snow. What's that? We took the kids up to the snow. You did? Mm -hmm. Palm Springs? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to lie, lie. Where was it? Where did you go? Oh, for the... Lake Arrowhead. Oh, you did? Yes, lots of snow up there. That's good. That's wonderful. How many kids do you have, Vicki? Two. And what are their ages now? Courtney is 10 and Garrett is 8. Oh, boy. They really enjoy the holidays, don't yes. they? Huh? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, once again, this on this, our final week, we're so pleased to have you on our show. Well, thanks, Tom. It's a pleasure to be here. Would you like to meet your new partner? He's not new. Scott's <laughs> left over from Monday. <laughs> Here's our leftover, folks. Last year's contestant. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Here's a guy a year older than last time we talked to him, Scott Duvall. With $1,700. You're right. You took it. $1,700 you have so far, and Happy New Year to you. Happy Scott. New Year, Tom. You're seated next to a very talented man. <laughs> and uh, we're very happy to have him on our last week, too. And that's Mr. Ted Lange from the Love Book. Thank you. I had the wildest time. You did? <laughs> New Year's Eve, you won't believe it. I mean, it was a free-for-all. I mean, people were drinking, having a good time. It was wonderful. Oh, that's I got great. into a car accident. I just had a wonderful oh, time. Oh, it was don't just say that. Amazing, amazing. No, I met a lot of strange, wonderful people. <laughs> Tom Selleck complimented me on my acting. It was just, oh, what a wild time. Wild time. Elizabeth Taylor, well, you'll read about it in the Inquirer. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Here's the wild man's partner, Janice Blythe. We welcome her to the show. Thank you. Well, Janice, just out of curiosity, you're now on the show on January 2nd, 1986. Right. When did you first apply for this show? It's been you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Three or four weeks ago? Uh, 1985, definitely. Uh -huh. well, what do you do, Janet? Well, I um, just took my state exam for real estate. Oh, good. Right. Did you pass? I don't know yet. I haven't you gotten the don't. results back. Oh. It takes three to four weeks. Mm hmm do you feel confident about it? 50-50. I see. <laughs> it was very hard. Well, if that doesn't work out, what else would you do, you think? Be a game show host. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You're hitting the bottom there, Janice. <laughs> Have you tried a paper route yet? <laughs> we wish you the very best of Thank luck, you. Janice. Let's play our game. The object is to act out a series of words to help your partner solve the puzzle. Come on, Vicky, let's do it. Start over there. So well on Monday. Yes, I know. <laughs> that things cannot possibly get worse from now, you know? Well, you well, got to be better this time. You gave us a good example of the do's and the don'ts. The first one, you got all the I don'ts. I gave you a good example of the don'ts. And then you and your partner got all five words. Don't forget that. Oh, that's right. We did do that. Yes, that's right. You did. Let's do it again. Okay. 60 seconds yes. on the clock. Here's your first word. Go. <clears throat> I'm a big chub. A swimming... No, not a swimming pool. A vest. A woman. And a man. A couple. Husband and wife. Uh, honeymooners. Very good. My goodness. Oh, pass it. Uh -huh. Famous. Famous city. The, uh, New York City. You got it. Very good. Oh, dear. It's a big around the... It's a hot tub. It's a... Uh... Oh, no. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. Pass it. Pass yeah. it. Pass it. Oh, oh right. for Pete's sake. Yeah. <laughs> it's around... 
<laughs> oh. oh, you're in a box, a jack in the box. Oh, you're in a barrel. Yes, you got it. All right. yes. Boy, oh. Vicky, that is terrific. Yes. You really pulled that out. That was I'm good. sure. Yeah. That was Very good. It was inspiration of what it was. <laughs> you are an inspiration to all of the Imagine. young people of America. I'm here to tell you. Oh, how sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here, yeah. Here's your puzzle. Here are your three words. $100 puzzle. At this New York blank for honeymooners, you can take a barrel over the blank and blank blank. You can get this. What is it? Niagara Falls. Is it Niagara Falls? Very good. Got the three words. Thank you. Vicki and Scott, you're a very good team because the way you got New York was just the wonderment, How in, did we? wonderment in your eyes. I think Scott got it. I don't think I gave it. It was teamwork. <laughs> he, you, gave, you gave it, he got it. At this New York uh, tourist trap, she passed on that. <laughs> oh, that's tough, isn't it? For honeymooners, you can take a barrel over the rapids. Now, the rapids is when she got in the barrel and went down. I don't know what else you could do for that. And... End up on the rock. Uh, in the parentheses means they were not acted, fortunately. But the red team, ladies and gentlemen, screeches out into the uh, lead <laughs> with $100. And the first team to reach $500 wins a game of chances. $10,000. Back with Ted Langer's team. That's it. Go there. Well done. $100, Green King Zero. Ted, come on down here, my friend. Janice, get over there. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> You're trailing by $100. Oh, okay. You feel the pressure? I feel it. Let's do something about it. 60 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Here's your first word. Go. Okay, you are pounding. You're, it's X. You got it. Next. You're, 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 you're having an argument. You're telling some, you're telling somebody off. You're having, you're, you're having a fight. Pass. You're a little kid. Are you a little kid? You look, <laughs> you, Judy Garland, looking at the rainbow. <laughs> famous, famous man. Little, um, are you a midget? Are you who, uh, her vase, her vase, her vase, her vase, her, oh no. Pass, pass. <laughs> you're shoveling, you're digging, you're, you're getting buried. <laughs> Barry is it. Yeah. You're putting on lipstick. Makeup. Blush. Yeah. Makeup is it. Next. Oh, you're having a lover's quarrel. Quarrel. Fight. Argument. Baby. Crying. Uh. You're fighting over the child. Pass, pass, child pass. support. <laughs> <laughs> oh, survey. Surveyor. Surveyor. Ah, yes, okay. Ah. Three of them. <laughs> no. That is Christmas, isn't it? Here's your puzzle. Uh, Janice, here are your three words. It's a $100 puzzle. If you're having a blank, you should make up and bury this blank ax that blank might use on a blank tree. What do you think? Argument. Is it argument? Scott, come over here. Scott Duvall. Which blank next? Four. If you're having a blank, you should make up and bury this tiny ax that blank might use on a blank tree. Hatchet. Is it hatchet? That's it. Now, he was trying to indicate to you what? Marital disagreement? Well, it, it, was, uh, it was sort of like that, but it's, um, well, it's not a marital disagreement. It's a family feud. feud. If you're having a family feud, you should make up and bury this tiny axe that, now, say that, are they? Hervé... Villagez. Villagez. Villagez, yes. I'll remember you, that. Yes. <laughs> but you, you knew it was some kind of a long French name. Yes. You couldn't come up with it. Might use on a bonsai tree. <laughs> well, that, that was unacted. But, uh, of course, if it, if it needed acting, Ted would know what to do for that. Yes. <laughs> yes, he would. Huh? Huh? You, oh, you want me to do it or what? No, no I don't want oh, you to do it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. I just want to... <laughs> $200 for the red team. We'll get into our $250 puzzles after this. All right. <laughs> the Indian Green Team, but now we have $250 puzzles. If neither team reaches $500, we'll have a playoff. 
in this round to get all five words. That contestant will receive a $500 cash bonus, not affecting the final score. Vicki, you're over here. Scott, down here. This time, I have for you a $500 check right there if you get all five words. 60 seconds on the clock. Oh, here's your first word. And go. Stop. You're, you're an insane asylum. You're a cell. Pat a cell. Yes, one down. Bite. Two down. You're a lady? Uh-huh. You're, you're, oh, you're putting on a bra. Right there, a strap. Yes, three of them. You're at a psychiatrist. Shrink. Yes. Go on to go, you have 35 seconds. You're roaring. You're a lion. Uh, a lion's roar. A, li a growl. Yes. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Left over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, how many seconds were left over? How many seconds? 20? Oh, I'm sorry. Only 29 seconds. You have to get all five with 30 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. I'm, I forgot to mention that. Oh, what the hell? Here's your foot check. Thank you. All right. Here's your foot check? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all saw yourself in fellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are your five words. And this is a $250 puzzle. <laughs> All right, if you growl like a blank and bite your psychiatrist, <laughs> you'll get put in a padded cell in this blank with straps. Take it, Vicky. Uh, straight jacket? Is it straight jacket? Yeah. <laughs> if you growl like a chihuahua <laughs> and bite your psychiatrist, you'll get put in a padded cell in this coat with straps. By golly. Dude, I'm on a roll. You really are. You're something else. Get on over there. Way up. Well done. All right. The red team has 450 points. Green team. Ted, you're over here. Ted, you're over here. Ask me have a, if I have another check left. you have another check left? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> 60 seconds on the clock. Thank you. All right. Here's your first word. Go. Pass. Pass. A star, famous person, man, swimmer, Mark Spitz. Yes. Uh, tall. Uh, hat, crown, uh, what is that, tiara? No, what hat. Is, hat. A water, boat, rowboat, a sea. A, 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 um, you're getting into something, you're getting around, it's around you. It's, it's on the water, is it on the water? It's a tumble dry. No. What is it? Uh, uh swimming. Uh. <laughs> okay, star, famous swimmer. Uh, um, um, he's all around the Cathlon. What is that guy's name? <laughs> no, he does, he does that, he's swimming. Pass. Pass. Um, Bruce Jenner. He passed. Okay, a uh, star. Uh, water. Ocean. Good try, good try. <laughs> he did a good job. Oh. All right, Ted. One. Here's your puzzle, here's your one word. These are the blank blank in the blank. And if Mark Spitz were all of his in a blank, he'd blank like the blank. Answer. Olympic gold medal. Is it Olympic gold medal? Gold medal is it. Well done. Yes. With only one word. Uh, these are the top. She was trying to get you to say top hat. Is that what you were going for? Top, top hat. Top ah. hat. When, you know. okay. These are the top uh, awards in the Olympics. Oh, that was the Olympics that yeah, you were doing. Yeah, you ah. thought it was one guy, like Bruce Jenner. Yeah, yeah, It yeah. was the generic term for Olympics. And if Mark Spitz wore all of his in a uh, jacuzzi, that's jacuzzi what she was in. Jacuzzi that was bubbling in the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> He'd sink Thanks. like the Titanic if he wore all of those uh, medals. <laughs> so the green team is still alive. Now you go over there and sit down. And since neither team reached $500, we're going to have a playoff. So Scott and Janice, over here. <laughs> now, we'll give you another $250 puzzle. Whoever gets this will win the game. Here is the puzzle. Blank, 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 this blank, who blank, blank, and blank. Now, Scott, you're the champ. You want to go first, or you want Janice to go um, first? Janice can All go right, first. Janice. Four. Blank, 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 this superhero who blank, blank, and blank. Superman. Scott. Um, seven. Blank, 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 this superhero who blank, blank, and stripes. Captain America. Oh, good try, Janice. Uh, one. Linda blank blank is superhero, etc. Wonder Woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. Linda Carter plays a superhero. 
who wore stars and stripes, and it wins the game for the green team. And it is only your first loss, Scott, so that means you will continue to play our game. So far, you have $2,650. As for our uh, soon-to-be real estate uh, woman right here, Janice, she has $500, and she's going to try, along with, of course, Ted Lange, for $10,000 after this. Go over there and sit down. Ooh, those card sharks questions. How many single women admitted they said yes to a man because they were afraid they'd lose him? Somebody giggled. It's a serious question. Don't giggle. The Curious Queries of Card Sharks, weekdays at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern. Janice has just won a game. $500. Now, do you want to give or receive? I'm going to receive. Let Ted give. All right, Ted. Good luck to you down here. Good luck to you, Janice. Believe me when I tell you, on this, our final week of body language, it would give me a great deal of pleasure to award $10,000 to you. And all you have to do, all you have to do, it's so simple, Ted. We're going to give you 60 seconds and 10 words. Oh. And every word you get is worth 100 bucks. Not to you, of course, but to Janice. You probably don't make that much. I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> on doing this show. <laughs> no. I started to say on love, but oh, okay. you, you probably make more than 100 bucks a week. I don't. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> after, after you earn your hundreds, you can convert the hundreds to thousands by going for the next round, which is three words in 20 seconds. Now, do you thoroughly understand everything I just said? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Janice, yeah. good luck to you. 60 seconds on the clock. Here is your first word, and go. Okay, you're fanning. It's... You have 100. You're putting on a skirt. You're tying an apron on. You open the freezer. Take it to the freezer. You put it on a jacket. It's cold. In the freezer. You hang. Oh, a couple coat. A hanger. A coat. A closet. Yes. Three hundred. You are. You are making. You're playing with. Your massage. Yes. Massage. Four hundred. You're picking something up. It's a baby. You're putting it down. It's in the cradle. It's in the bassinet. It's in the crib. Yes. Five hundred. Are you an animal? You. You. It's a paw. Six hundred. You're, 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 confetti! 700. You're marching in the band. <laughs> Eight. You're shuffling hundred. cards. You're, you're, yeah, you're dealing. Yeah, you have nine. You have one to go with. You're, you're cutting. Seconds. You're slicing. Yeah, you got all of them. Every one. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. All right. All right. Okay. Is Robert Sherman and uh, Mimi O'Brien, are you standing by? This comes out of their very pocket, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this $10,000, and I'd love to see them walk out of here penniless. Now you, have, now you got $1,000, and that can become $10,000 in the next 20 seconds if you get all three words. Don't say anything aloud in the audience, please. Good luck to both of you. Here are your 20 seconds. Here is your first of three words. Go. Okay, you're eating. You're eating popcorn. One down, two to go. It's a dress. It's 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 it's, it's fit. It's tight. You got what? You got lumps. You got bumps. You got what do you have? Half. Have half. Award? Oh no. Um, uh, you can't hear. You're deaf. Sound noise. Yes, yeah. it was noise, and the middle one was body, but you still have one thousand dollars. That's too bad. Come on over here. Come on down and tell us, how would you do body? Vicky, how would you do body? What? No, no. Did you have another idea for body? Well, then I, I, maybe I should have done all, the whole, so I was doing parts of the well, body. But, yeah. Which you look like you had a disease. Yeah. <laughs> you I did have a disease. Yeah. You know? oh, but you still have the $1,000, and we'll tell you what their total winnings are right after these words. I don't know what to do other than I would go for kind of a curvaceous. Yeah, that means $500, and Scott Villar has $2,650. Now, tomorrow is our last day on Body Language on CBS, and don't forget to join us because we're going to have great fun tomorrow. We'll see you then, and we'll see, are you going to join us tomorrow? for our last day? Ah, oh, bless you for that. See you then. Bye-bye.
This is Gene Wood. The winner of the Miss USA pageant receives a brand new sports car. Miss America receives a $50,000 scholarship. Miss Universe lives in a luxury apartment for one year. The winner of this beauty show gets... A dollar ninety-eight. The dollar ninety-eight beauty show. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Saturday and Sunday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern, only on Game Show Network.